Beth of Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Did you miss me? It's just been so darn hot this summer that I did a lot of designing work instead of sitting underneath hot spotlights work in my design studio. So I decided to start out with a new set of my crochet hook collection. Got this on Amazon. Derek got them for me because he thought they looked really cool. These are Creative Tales. You may have seen these great big things on Amazon and wondered if they were any good. They're like $40 or $50 for this set of 12. Right off the bat, they come in a bag like this. A big old plastic bag. Not a fan. So, boo. No brownie points at all. Second of all, one of them came broken. So here they all are laid out in order. Goes three and a half, a four, a four and a half, a five, a five and a half, a six, six and a half, a seven millimeter, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. This was the one that was broken. The tip was totally off. Derek fixed it. We're going to try a couple of these just randomly. I tried to work with one of them just a little while ago and I'm not really sure that I was liking it at all. They are not very smooth, but we're going to give it a try. I was working with this one, the three and a half. They're just not very smooth. So let's move up, oopsie, let's move up and try the four. This one might be a little smoother. Let's give it a, just a real quick try. It's just not, just not nice right here. Right in here is just, it's not smooth. It's kind of rough. Yeah, this is a struggle. I am not a fan of these. I know I've had a lot of people ask me if I've ever tried any of these off of Etsy. I don't have one off of Etsy, but we did try these off of Amazon now and I don't like these but I would think that the the uh, ones that are hand turned that people are proud of on Etsy are gonna be a lot nicer these are not look at that that chains a mess this is no bueno I don't like it these are not this one's not fun okay so the three and a half and the four are no fun at all there's one in here that has a big gouge in it which just says that the quality control is is just no good for me. I think it's this one. Look at this right here if you can see that. See those gouges? I think you can see it right there. Three gouges right there which you know that's going to snag on something along the way. Like I hardly ever get one that's just a total bummer. But I'm thinking that this is just not as much fun. This would really be a struggle to work with. They're not smooth. They're quite rough. They need a better finish, I think. Even just chaining is hard. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't like these at all. All right, there's three for three. Boo. All right, let's try another one. Just randomly. There was That was the five. That was the one that was all gouged out. This was the one that was broken right here. You could probably see that he, he mended it, put it back together again. I'm still not sure that I'm really going to like it. Just using a four weight cotton right here because I love working with cotton. I know what it should, what it should be like when I'm working with cotton and this is not what it should be like at all. Just a struggle. Definitely would not suggest this for one of your first hook sets or you will not want to crochet anymore. You will be sad and go, this is too hard. You can even see this one is totally off center. The way that they made this one. It is not shaped. It goes this way. It's diagonal. Right there. So these are all made. Ugh, I'm going to have to say these are very poorly made. What a bummer, because they're so pretty. But this one, they weren't even close. Goes off this way and goes diagonally. Aww. I guess the brownie point that I can say is that they are gorgeous and they do have their sizes stamped into, actually carved into the wood. So that's important. That is a brownie point, one brownie point. But I'm going to measure these and see if they're even close, because that'll be my last, my last way for them to get any brownie points. Right now, they only have one for being cute and two 
having everything carved into the wood. So this is supposed to be a three and a half. Let's see what we got. Three and a half millimeter. It is not a three and a half millimeter. It is too big. Can you see that? It's not going in. In any way, shape, or form, it is not going in. Okay, randomly, what's this? This is a seven millimeter. Let's see where we got that one. Oh, that one actually fit. They got one. They got one. Let's go another random one. Let's try this big one that's all wonky. Oh, my measurer doesn't do a 12. Okay, let's go down to the 10. I have a 10. Okay, the 10 kind of works. Kind of. It's close, but it's definitely not milled correctly because it's got a big lump right here. You can kind of see that. That right here, it puffs out. So it is not straight, it is not smooth, it's lumpy right there. And that's crooked. Oh goodness, what a sad time. What's this one? An eight. Now an eight I use often, when especially when it's winter and I'm doing something bulky. And this one's really pretty. It seems like it's pretty smooth, nice and pointy. Let's see if this one can get any points at all. All right, well the eight works. Okay, maybe there's one that I can salvage out of here. I'm kind of hoping I can salvage this one because this one is really pretty. It seems smooth. It's an eight millimeter, which is really handy in the winter time when I start working with bulky stuff. So let's try this one. And it measured properly. The little ones weren't even close. So let's try this one. I know this yarn is a little bit too small to work with this, but. Sometimes you want it something to be baggy. Oh, I'm still not loving it. If the finish was a little bit better, it's just it's just dull and matte. It kind of catches a little bit. It's just not as smooth as it should be. Oh, that's too bad. See, this would definitely be a struggle to do much of a project. Aw. So there you go. That's the first complete <clears throat> that I've ever had to do. There wasn't one in there that I can salvage. Sorry. Well, that's okay, because we just don't know, and I've had so many people ask that. These are beautiful. I still probably will, will display them in some way, because they're really pretty. So you do have the pretty factor, and everything is carved into the wood so that you know the sizes are right away. That's really all they have going for them. I'm so sorry, creative. Who are you? I'm so sorry Creative Tales on Amazon. These are not good hooks. You need to put a little bit more time into your quality control here because they're all jagged and have big gouges in them. They don't measure properly and some of them are just not even, they're not even symmetrical. That's just crazy. Oh no. Guess what we're making next week? Don't forget about my secret surprise here. We are making next week the giant bag that's inspired by that awesome Prada Raffia. We're going to make this guy next week, so make sure you come back. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.